do you want to know some better secrets on the IELTS speaking section? If so, make sure you continue watching because I will provide you with expert advice on what exactly you should expect on the IELTS speaking section and how you can impress the examiner. Before I continue, this is the first video of the IELTS speaking for beginners series. So make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you are notified when the other videos come out for this particular series. Let's get right into this video. So the IELTS speaking section is designed to assess your ability to speaking English and how comfortable you are in carrying on a discussion with the examiner. The IELTS speaking section has three different parts and this discussion will last for about 15 minutes maximum. So within these 15 minutes, you need to know how exactly you you should structure your essay and how exactly you should be responding to the examiner when he asks you a question. Just remember that this section is face to face. So the examiner will be sitting uh, right with you asking you questions. I know this sounds a bit intimidating, but if you would just think of it as a casual informal discussion, this is what it is. And remember in the IELTS speaking section, you will be marked on natural spoken English and how comfortable you are in speaking natural spoken English. So what exactly is natural spoken English? Natural spoken English is also referred to as how native English speakers talk on a daily basis naturally. There's no reason why you need to use such formal high vocabulary words, rather use words within the given context. So that way you are able to show the examiner you understand what he's trying to ask you. So if you like this video so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So that way you are notified when I put out videos on this channel. So the IELTS speaking section is divided in three different parts. In the first part, he is going to ask you, the examiner is gonna ask you questions about yourself, your family, your living arrangements, what your hobbies are, what your daily routine looks looks like, um, maybe uh, what you like to do on the weekends. So the questions could vary in the IELTS speaking part one. And then after that, he will proceed to IELTS speaking part two. In the IELTS speaking part two section, you will be required to speak for a full two minutes on a few questions that you will have to answer. But before he makes you speak for a full two minutes, you have to prepare your answer and the examiner will give you one minute to prepare your answer. So in this one minute time, you need to make sure that you write quickly write down or brainstorm ideas of how exactly you are going to introduce the topic, how exactly you are going to answer the topic, so that way you are able to speak for a full two minutes. So after part two, the examiner will proceed to IELTS speaking part three. In the IELTS speaking part three section, the examiner may ask you questions that vary from the same topic he just asked you in part uh, two in part three. It's like an addition to the same type of questions. But sometimes the questions may vary. So you need to be ready to answer these questions. And the biggest tip I can give for you for uh, part two and part three is to answer each, and part one, I should say, is to answer each question within three to four sentences. Do not ramble on and uh, keep talking about an answer because the examiner will stop you and this does not look good. You will get a low band if you do this. So guys, make sure you follow these tips and strategies I provided for you today on all the three different parts of the IELTS speaking exam. And if you wanna learn about what types of questions you will see in IELTS speaking part one, make sure you check out this video up above and I'll see you over there.